so I never tried this before, but I want to make a woven basket. If that works, then I will probably go and try with other material. So I looked on YouTube and I apparently you have to cut some new newspapers and then I have to roll those into long uh, sticks. So I will try that first with spaghetti. I don't know if it works, but we're gonna try. So as we speak, I already break my spaghetti in two. But I have plenty of spaghetti so I can try again. Okay, this is so unfair. The people on YouTube, they seem to have no problems that the paper rolls up at the same point. It looks so easy, but I've got the problem that all the time I roll it up, it rolls up here and it doesn't want to go con continue on the stick. But look how easy that looks. Okay, this is pretty frustrating. I don't know what I do wrong, but it doesn't want to roll up like I see on the video. Uh, it might be that my spaghetti is a little bit too small, too tiny. So I've been going around through the whole house to find a bigger stick, but I couldn't find anything except from chopsticks. So I will try those. Okay, I have no clue how long it took me to figure out a way it, to work those all mists. I tried a different stick from outside. I tried anything, but it looks like I've got the hang of it. So I have a beautiful set of uh, sticks right here. Pretty happy. This is, uh, here's what I do. I've got two chopsticks. I lick the corner of the paper, put it over here. And then I glue the bottom part. It seems to be pretty important to me. Uh, they don't do that in the YouTube video, but I need it, otherwise it doesn't work. Then I roll it up like this. And since I don't have a long stick, which would work a lot better, I just put two chopsticks together. And I continue rolling until I reach the end. Use the glue again. Put it together and here we go, got another one of this. So it works, a little my way, but it works. Okay, so now I've got all the sticks ready. I am, I'm ready to make the base of the basket. Let's try. Okay, it's pretty hard to film and do at the same time, but it should <laughs> look like something like this <laughs> and it's hard to start but when you got the form it's pretty easy this is what it should look like i'm just gonna glue it all together so it sticks easier together that's it Okay, shoot, that's not really nicely done in the middle. It's more like a cross. Uh, I should have done that better. No way back. Now I have to glue two of those together to make the starting point. So I will do that. I basically just squeeze one end into the other end. Okay, here we go. Fold those together. Then the top one goes below 90 degrees, the cats. And this one goes above. And basically I'm gonna do the same with the next one. This one above. So I cross them all the time. This one goes under, and then this one goes above. Okay. Under, over, under, over. See how beautiful this one is done, not 
at all. Doesn't matter. It's just a try. So now those ends are very short and I'm gonna make them longer by just adding another stick, of course. I've been reading, they call those long things the weavers. So you want to keep them long basically. And we just continue with what we were doing then. Well, lucky bastard I am, I now can move this, so I don't have the cross, but it's all back in the middle now. Okay, so I have made three rings. I don't know how many you need. I just assume it's as white you want to have your base. Um, so I made three, but you can choose whatever you want. And now we're going to separate those four points on every edge. So we make uh, like, a, how would you call this? I don't know, a sun. And as we have done that, we basically continue what we have been doing. Um, this one goes over, this one goes under. We cross them over, under. Cross them over, under. So you do that for every single one now, instead of every four together. So cross over, under. And as you see, that looks a little different. Okay, so here we go. I've got to the end. Okay, so my two weavers are in there and now I'm just gonna continue with one of those over cut about this length behind and then I want to put it in there. So now this one has gone there I take the next one, go around, again cut and put it in the inside. So I'm gonna do that for a whole round and here we go. I can't quite believe it, but I've got a basket. Okay, so I want to just make a grip on it or whatever you call it that's here. So I'm gonna use this, wrap some paper around it and fix that to the basket. Okay, and there we've got it. It's finished. I'm ready to pick up some eggs. Can't quite believe it, but I have been Weaving my own basket. Here we go. Okay, so two days passed. It took me a moment to make this little nice basket, but it worked. I've never done this before. And I just learned by watching other people doing it. And uh, so if I can do it, you can do it. Um, try it out. Show me your basket. <laughs> and... Um, well, the next thing I want to try is to make it from natural material. So I'm not sure yet. It depends on what I will find. If I will start with grassy like material or with widow. Is that the name? The tree? Uh, we, we were, I don't know the name. Anyways, uh, this was a good start. And now I will go to my next step. Ciao.